a very quick video for anyone wanting to create their own thumbnails to look like this. All right, let's go. All right, so I've got my camera app open and a little PowerPoint slide. I'm just gonna take a photo with a timer on. I've got it set to two seconds to give me a chance to do my little pose. All right, so here we go. So there's my photo. All right, so here we go. I'm just gonna copy this. And I've got a green screen, but actually this works pretty well without a green screen as well. Just make sure you have a plainish background behind you. Um, I'm just gonna right click copy, go into PowerPoint and paste. Okay, so with this picture, you could crop it, but sometimes you can just go straight to picture format and remove background. Okay, see if it works. Yeah, it does a pretty good job. Okay, but it obviously removes too much. So you go to mark areas to keep and you can just draw a few little lines. And again, you know, it does a pretty decent job. Sometimes it takes a few goes. Mark areas to remove. Don't want that bit of the chair. Okay, and there's that little green dash there that I don't want. So it can be a little bit fiddly. Okay, you just gotta sort of focus on where you are. That looks pretty good. Keep changes. All right, oh, a bit off my head there. So let's go and undo. And I realize I've chopped off a bit of my head. So mark areas to keep, I want that. And there's a little bit of top of my head here. Got to focus on that, keep. Okay, so there we go. We've got something like this. Then the key thing is the glow to get the white little outline, all right? So what you can do is again, under um, sort of picture format and go to picture effects and it's the glow, okay? And glow options and this panel pops out. So you go to the glow section and you can change the size of the glow and the color. So you can pick a, maybe pick an orange or something to start with, but essentially you can then just pick your white and the transparency, make it zero and you can make the size bigger or smaller, okay? So you can have that sort of transparent edge to things, which is great. Okay, so you've got a few options under here. Then you can add a bit of shadow. So I'm gonna to go to shadow and add a bit of shadow on here as well. And you can make the size of the shadow a bit bigger or smaller. Okay, and you can change the blur and you can change the position and the size. So you can do all those sorts of things and you can just play away with it to your heart's content until you get something you're happy with. And that's pretty much it. You can then save this whole slide. You can add some text, you know, insert some word art with some text around what you're discussing. And once you've got this set up, you can then save it as an image. So you go file, save as, and you change the file type to JPEG or PNG. And you can actually save this one slide as an image. And then you use that. Okay, let me know what you think. Is that useful? Hope that helps. Catch you in the next video.